slowly but shortly you started seeing the accident better. And I woke up this morning and I looked out my window and we have the press and everything here and I come out to see what was going on and I unfortunately seen the tragedy. It sounded like it That's was what? over there further, closer. Literally what I see every day coming home from work. Not this, I mean, just that it's gone. Like, And just thinking about all the people that I know that are on that bridge on a daily basis, even late at night. And this is a historic tragedy. Yeah, half of it, it's in the water. Well, that part wasn't supported by the gantry. That's why it's still Right, late. right, yeah, that, that's where it broke off. Boat hit it and then it fell down. I mean, when you think about it, how heavy those container ships are, obviously that could take it down. And it's then I just saw that video. All you gotta do is hit it wrong. Man. The ship was coming That's down the, the channel and they lost power. All the lights went out. And then they got the power back and then thick smoke starts pouring out the back. And then they lost power again and then they hit the bridge. There were some people, you know, in the cards and they fell in the water. So families are probably devastated. On the other side, you can see that side of the bridge. Like I said to Bella, it's like literally one of those things you see in like Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> it's too much. Apparently, I mean, you know, it had to be like a, a man effect, like a human effect. Because where it hit at on that bridge, it hit a whole post. It hit like the, the beams under the bridge. So I don't get it. All them lives that y'all saying that y'all didn't, they, they didn't get the fish out the water. Like what's supposed to happen now? You know, losing that bridge is like losing an old friend, you know, it affects everybody.